Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. And I mentioned to you last week, I was going to give you a few cooking tips. Well, here's tip number one. Use onions in everything. If you like onions, which I'm sure that most of you do, but you use onions, cook them, saute them lightly. Onions are a great source of sulfur and one of the biggest deficiencies that we deal with with people today, and when I say deal with, I'm not saying that in an unkind way, they have a lot of joint problems. So people take chondroitin sulfate. Onions and garlic and eggs are great sources of sulfur. So that's a very important a tip around the board. I eat onions probably three or four times a week and I actually put green onions, you know the white onions with the green ends, I slice them up and I put them in my salad. Now, I, another good cooking tip is don't boil your food. Try to eat as much as you can raw. You've seen me and talked to me, heard me talk about the swap bag. So I have a swap bag every day. I'm going to give you another cooking tip. I want you to go to YouTube and watch Dr. Bob's meatballs. I make chicken meatballs. About 40 of them at a time. Locally we have a store here that sells uh, organic chicken, a thigh and a breast combination. With three pounds I can make 40 meatballs and however you traditionally make meatballs I bake them at 320 degrees for about 45 minutes or so. I cool them and I put them in a Ziploc bag. So I usually will have chicken meatballs maybe two or three times a week as the protein on my salad. The biggest tip that I can give you for cooking is to plan ahead. That means on Sunday I bake chicken thighs for the week, usually six or eight of them. I don't buy deli meats really at all. We always make sure we have enough fresh vegetables in our household. So it's about planning. There's so many major stores around the United States right now that have organic vegetables that are always affordable and on sale. You're going to save money for the doctor visits that you need to spend time and energy on to go to see. So cooking tips for you. And I have a lot of wonderful videos on cooking and I'm always on Facebook putting pictures of the food that we make. Dr. Bob, I have fibroids. Hypofibroids. Hypothyroid. Um, it's being treated with uh, Livox. High blood pressure being treated with a diuretic and panic attacks. I'm tired of doctors trying to give me antidepressants. What do I have to do to get rid of this? I'm 31 and three kids. Well first, you could have some postpartal challenges, postpartal depression, I don't want to say that. But we have found from our experiences that most women need oil. You know, you could start with a tablespoon of flax oil per 100 pounds. You can get a quality marine oil. We happen to use an anchovy and sardine based oil that comes from smaller fish. If you would like to have an essential fatty acid blood spot test done, I know that there is a small charge for it, but I can tell you it'll tell me so much. And we use that a lot in our patients. We've had bipolar patients, people have tried to commit suicide. We had one young lady who was doing really poorly in school, and we supported her or supplemented her with oils, it made a huge difference. A lot of times, people who have subpar thyroid function, not only do they have low oil, they need iodine. Look at your T4, Tom4 blood test, and if it's less than the midline, chances are you need some iodine. Now when you take iodine, if you've been exposed to bromine, fluorine, and chlorine, and everybody's been exposed to bromine, fluorine, and chlorine, taking iodine could cause a headache and a skin rash and then that'll taste in your mouth. So that's why we encourage you to use iodine slowly, maybe two or three milligrams a day for a couple weeks. Oftentimes we'll split our tablets in half and have people take six milligrams a day for a two week time period. So you have to get that thyroid gland going 100%. Let's talk about the high blood pressure for a moment. We oftentimes find people who have a blood pressure issue do not have enough magnesium. The hydrochlorothiazide or the diuretic that you're taking is getting rid of minerals in your body. Celtic sea salt is important. Green food is important. A great source of magnesium. So magnesium helps the blood pressure, oils will help your depression, and you might want to take some iodine. Go slow with the iodine. Dr. Bob, how can I increase a libido without medications? I have erection dysfunction also. Well, I'm going to tell you, even Dr. Oz has talked about this. Maca root, two or three a day will help you. 
I have found that men who have erectile dysfunction oftentimes have exhausted adrenal glands. They also could be on beta blockers and blood pressure medication and cholesterol lowering drugs. So what are the drugs that you are on? There's a product that we have available on our website. It's called Arjazyme. And I'm just bringing this up because Arjazyme has helped many of my male patients obtain and maintain an erection. You could start with four to six a day. And I'm going to tell you from the experience that these gentlemen have telling me, it makes a difference. Arjazyme. Arjazyme is tremendous. Dr. Bob, how can I help my nails from peeling? It's kind of interesting because I just had a woman today that asked me the same thing. Oftentimes, you might not have enough digestive enzymes. So we promote digestive enzymes, of course. Make sure you're eating enough protein. Usually, this is a question from a woman. Women don't, for some reason, eat enough protein. So that lady that came in just a little bit ago, she has coffee and banana for breakfast. You're not going to have healthy nails by drinking coffee and eating bananas. I have nothing against bananas. I really do. They cause left neck pain. But you need protein, chicken, um, eggs, onions. You just need to have protein in your body and a good digestive enzyme. Dr. Bob, how can I stop the big pores on my face? And I can tell you even today, once again, I had two or three ladies have very large pores on their face. It's usually a body signal to me that you need zinc. But the real challenge is you might be consuming too much wheat and soy. Wheat and soy deplete the body of zinc. Dr. Bob, I read your book and I want to avoid a hysterectomy or ablation. A very common post challenge that I say, when I say post, I have a lot of women come in the office that already had ablation. Ablation is a procedure where they cauterize the inside of your uterus. Not a lot of fun. So the leading cause of it, once again, from my experience, we talked about this in Dr. Bob's um, Douglas Guide to Balancing Female Hormones, you have too much estrogen. Because number one, your liver is probably compromised. Number two, you might not have enough B vitamins. You might be drinking too much alcohol, too make, taking too many medications. Milk thistle, one or two a day. Dr. Bob's ABCs, especially the beets. And finally, some B as in Bravo vitamins. The B vitamins help your liver process the estrogen. Wow. Next week, I want to talk about summer vacation tips. See you then.